introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Venu Di Silva uh, from uh, Sri Lanka. I am representing uh, the agricultural the, uh, women's uh, as well as the entire women's sectors in Sri Lanka. Uh, so working with the women's empowerment and women's rights. Okay. What has the uh, women in Sri Lanka to do with the World Women's Conference? What is uh, the situation? Uh, yes, uh, uh, this is uh, my second conference. Uh, I was uh, participating as a coordinator for the second World Women Conference and this is the third World Women Conference. So I was take part uh, two conferences. I missed Venezuela. Uh, so uh, actually uh, I was uh, working with the grassroots women uh, and um, I met Monica uh, when I was in Philippines. So uh, there uh, I met Monica and also she takes the interview like this. Uh, afterwards uh, she invites me uh, to the Environmental Council because uh, mainly we are focusing uh, for the uh, human health and the pesticides because uh, in Sri Lanka we are working with the agricultural sector, women farmers. So most of the women farmers, they are, they are exposing to the pesticide. So we are working uh, to minimum use of pesticides and doing the organic agriculture. So in, the, in this regards, I met Monica in Philippines and I discussed with this uh, situation with her. Then she invites me to, the, to Germany for the Environmental Council meeting. So I was participating for that meeting afterwards. Uh, we uh, have a close relationship and she invites me to take part of the World Women Conference. So World Women Conference is uh, one of the great platform for each and every woman to discuss their issues. Because in Ashwin Sri Lanka, we have so many struggles women are facing, but we don't have a platform to uh, take it out. So this is a, one of the major platform for every woman around the world to discuss and to express their experiences and their challenges and their, uh, the, the pr uh, problems they are facing. In Sri Lanka also, we are struggling a lot, because, uh, especially women are struggling a lot in each sector. For example, agriculture sector, fishery sector, uh, trade union, plantations, uh, free trade zones, each of these uh, sectors, women are playing a critical role and also women are playing uh, an important role in these uh, areas. So what the thing is, especially uh, as a women, we are facing a lot of problems uh, because of uh, the uh, inequality. So we are rising. We are we are taking the voice of them out. We want to uh, inform and we want to educate them about their rights, about their thoughts, and we want to make their voice up. So in that regards, we are working in Sri Lanka for taking, for uh, encouraging women to take out their rights. Okay. Thank you. Um, our question is, what uh, do the women in the different sectors, especially in the agriculture sector, think about the reasons for the problems, for the crisis? So uh, what about the consciousness about capitalism and imperialism? Yeah, we have the capitalism here, there, uh, and also imperialism, because uh, uh, mostly uh, the women are because uh, Sri Lanka is a developing country it's not a developed country so poverty range is uh, in high in the rural areas so uh, in that regards um, people are suffering with the um, equality because uh, much more families uh, are run from the um, ha house head is comes from the male 
side so females are in uh, sometimes they are in the discriminations uh, in some part of the country but now uh, if we comparing to the past but now uh, we have a capital capitalism there so um, but now if we are comparing to the past uh, now it's a little bit much more positive side we were in because uh, now they will educated uh, people women they can they were educated because i think with the technology and with, with these kind of uh, programs with these kind of conferences we learn a lot from here and we can go back to the country with lot of informations so we can uh, we can share these informations with them how other countries work with their with their rights so what we have to do for make our to make uh, to make the um, Uh, power of us as a women so um, we have a problem still people pe uh, still sri lankan women are facing a problem uh, because of the poverty and hunger um, as well as uh, the crisis of economic crisis we have environmental crisis uh, and also we have a political crisis at this moment in the inside the country so all these things is uh, directly uh, issued for fire for the women in the country inside the country mm -hmm. one last question um uh, what about the fight against the pesticides uh, where where are they coming from i think that uh, it said it has something to do with the international monopolies yeah. i don't know monsanto perhaps yeah, or yeah, yeah. so yeah. i think this is also our <laughs> our fight against them yeah, is it yeah. right yeah yeah you are correct uh, actually uh, we fight for the pesticides because pesticide is uh, we know pesticide means the killing someone you no know? so it's killing pest and as well as us so pesticide is um, mostly in sri lankan agriculture sector uh, farmers are using pesticides because the reason is farmers wants a more harvest so what they are doing is they are using pesticides and they are making their fields according to that and they will take more harvest but they don't know what is ultimately happening for their health and their environment mostly farmers are using pesticides because um, uh, in that reason as well as uh, <coughs> there are a lack of knowledge uh, of the farmers about the uh, harmfulness of the pesticides because they are not wearing personal protection equipments when they are using pesticides uh, they are uh, take these pesticide containers to the um, rivers and they wash the uh, containers in in the river so it the pesticides is uh, mixing with the water uh, as well as uh, women are the taking the main role to mixing the pe pesticides and um, uh, put the containers the pesticides like that so they expose very very much uh, i have uh, uh, evidences i have the pictures with the women who have uh, um, in impact of the pesticide poisoning especially for their hands their legs as well as their eyes uh so yeah uh, and and another thing is children children also mm -hmm. exposed to the pesticides because they are they are very close to their mothers so they are with their mothers if the mother are doing the pesticide mixing or anything people uh, children also there and another thing is uh, the pesticide containers are very beautiful it comes in a nice shapes so what will happen children are taking these bot these kind of containers for their as a toy so that's another reason so that's why pesticides is comes very closer to the community uh, you are correct singenta monsanto is the main dealers who send pesticides to sri lanka but uh, with our struggles with our demonstrations without with, with our fights now uh, in 2018 we banned highly hazardous pesticides from sri lanka we take the government decision we, we fight with the government because government is very much help for the uh, multinational companies because they have a 
sub uh, con connections and also sub some uh, profits from them. So that's why they uh, approved for um, send the pesticide inside to the country. But uh, in 2018, uh, we got the good uh, uh, result, good achievement. Uh, we uh, we ban highly hazardous pesticides from Sri Lanka. No highly hazardous pesticides now coming to the Sri Lanka. So that is one achievement. Uh, and also, we are promoting at this moment uh, because we know that farmers, they want more harvest, they want more money. But if we are telling you have to stop using pesticides, so what is the alternative? We have to show them the alternatives. So at this moment, we are practicing ecological agriculture. It means biodiversity-based ecological agriculture practices. We are using uh, in, the, uh, in, in their own um, uh, home gardening <laughs> with the we are especially biodiversity based ecological agriculture we are targeting uh, women because women are the main person who takes the uh, car, um, food basket to the house so she is the responsible person to make the uh, nutritional value food for their family for their children and for their husband so uh, that's why we are targeting women farmers so we will introduce them a uh, uh, family farming. Now we, we are calling it family farming. It's uh, it's surrounding in their home garden. They can do this in their home garden. Uh, they can cultivate what they want for their day-to-day -day life. It means vegetables, some vegetables, some fruits, and some grains. What they want. So uh, we uh, in we uh, help them to. Uh, practice these things uh, first in their home gardens. Afterwards, we can go to the, their fields. Because uh, nowadays, we are facing a big problem because in Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan farmers have more, ye more yields. They have acre of yields. But uh, the thing is, multinational companies, they came to the farmers and they showing the profits and they showing the benefits, what they are giving and they showing the financial situation of how financial situation is increasing when they are using these things. And they grab the lands from the farmers. They, uh, they grab the lands from the farmers and they are forcing the farmers to, uh, to cultivate the uh, genetically modified foods, crops. So it's, uh, it's very uh, dangerous for the soil as well as for the us because once we eat these things, it's, uh, uh, it's effect for our human health. So in that regards, we will promoting this ecological agriculture. It's, it's very hard, it's not easier because they have to do more work uh, within the field when we are doing the ecological agriculture. They have to make the pesticides uh, from their own gardens. But in final, they have a very good product with the organic product and they, they can be happy but uh, they have a good uh, uh, they are giving a good product for the, for the for the outsiders. So now we are promoting these uh, practices mm -hmm. around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, in short sentences, now we have a special situation in Sri Lanka. Yeah. I think it's a revolutionary situation. Yeah. And what is the part of the women in this revolutionary situation and what is it going through? Yes, good. Good question yeah. because uh, yeah we are in the because uh, uh, now my country Sri Lanka is bankrupt so we are in a very critical situation in the financial crisis as well as the economic crisis and political crisis so the, all this happens uh, with the. Um, uh, with the bad practices of the previous uh, president. So what we will do is people know the things and people were suffering day by day. So what we do is we all came out from our houses and we came to the roads and we do the demonstrations. Uh, we fight for our rights. We fight for our uh, our 
country because uh, uh, because we heard that some part of Sri Lanka they will sell for other countries. So one day we don't have a uh, country to stay if they uh, sell some parts because Sri Lanka is a uh, it, Sri Lanka it calls a pearl of the Indian Ocean because we are surrounding from the ocean. So we have harbors. We have three main harbors. So it's very important for the exportations, uh, exportations and uh, uh, and earn money. So if they send uh, sell these uh, parts, so what will happen? So mostly uh, because and another thing is all household products are getting increased. People can't survive the, their family because we don't have enough money to take the, take the essential items in, nowadays because almost everything are expensive, expensive. and also we, we don't have fuel at the moment because uh, the Middle East countries, they are not support, supplying the fuel because, um, uh, because uh, we don't have enough uh, foreign currencies to pay them. In, inside the country. So what will happen? Everywhere I have a, a problem because uh, without transportation, everything is going high. People can't go their work. People can't do their work on time like that. So in that regards, mostly women came out because women, are, as I mentioned before, women are the main person who feed their family. So. Now they came out. Uh, I'm happy to see. We are happy to see uh, in our demonstrations, in our struggles. We see the women who have uh, infants. They take, they carry their infants, and they came to the demonstrations. Women who have, who are pregnant, they also came to the demonstrations because um, they um, requesting that they need a country. They need the country for their children. They need the country for their future. So that's uh, in that regards, people came out and people did a strong demonstration, strong protection, protest. In that result, the president was um, went off. I think you all heard uh, from the news. And again, we have a new president, but still the problems are remain. It is not changed anymore. But still we are in the struggle because with the powerful of the community, with the powerful of the women, uh, powerful of the whole entire people, community in the country, we can do what we want because, as, uh, because in, in, in first stage, um, youth is came out. Uh, university students, they are coming out to this struggle. Afterwards, uh, day by day, day by day, people will uh, engaging with them and in the finally all the Sri Lankans came out and had a good demonstration and good protest to take off this uh, 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 not on the president as well as the uh, parliament members now still we are in the struggle but we are happy that we as a result because now people are having a problems because uh, day by day they will arrest the uh, protested protesters they will arrest and doing a questionnaire questions like that but still we are in our struggle so yeah congratulations for this success so it's Thank very you. important for the world women I think, yeah. and for the class struggle of the working class and the oppressed people all over the world. Yeah. So it's possible to have success. But uh, as you said, the struggle has to go on. So we wish you a lot of success in the yeah. future and fighting together. Yeah, Long thank you so much. International solidarity. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.